Before the, before the season started, Tony Romo had back surgery uh, and then got ready for the season. He's appeared to have recovered well. Unfortunately, in the Washington game, although the Cowboys did win, Tony Romo was hurt and he had a, a lot of back pain with pain going down his leg. He was diagnosed with a herniated disc that apparently must have been a pretty big deal because he had back surgery just a few days after the injury occurred. A herniated disc is the most common injury that people in his age group, whether they're athletes or not, will sustain. Um, at Texas Back Institute, we treat this injury all the time. It's a very common occurrence, but of course, when each person experiences it, it's a, it's a big deal for them. You have discs all up and down your spine, from your cervical spine up in your neck, all the way down to your pelvis. A herniated disc uh, occurs when the um, disc ruptures, and some of the inner contents of the disc come out and put pressure on the nerves. The symptoms that a person can experience include back pain, leg pain, leg weakness, and even in severe cases, loss of their bowel or bladder function, which is definitely a big deal. In Tony Romo's case, uh, certainly he was in obvious pain uh, with his back and also in his leg. The whole reason he had the epidural steroid injection was to try to calm the pain down and make him feel better. But apparently either, and, and I'm not familiar with this case, I have not examined him, but he must have had a lot of pain or a lot of weakness for them to, for, his cow, for the cowboy doctors and for him to decide to operate that quickly after the injury occurred. The most common back surgery performed on somebody with a herniated disc is uh, a microdiscectomy. This can be performed in a lot of different ways. It can be done through the scope, it can be done endoscopically, it can be done with a microscope, uh, but typically the surgery will take somewhere between uh, 30 minutes and an hour and a half, depending upon um, how tough the case is. But the goals of the surgery are very simple. I define the disc herniation, and uh, remove it from the spinal canal to create more space for the nerves within the spinal canal. There are probably four complications that we would think about most commonly. First would be an issue with the wound. For instance, if the patient develops a wound infection. Second would be a uh, injury to the nerves or the nerve sac, which is called a dural tear. Uh, the third thing would be the disc reherniating, or the fourth thing would be the spine becoming unstable. So um, the threshold for returning to professional football would be a lot higher than, than most other people. So in a case like him, uh, physical therapy would start within the first two weeks after surgery. And then uh, after he's cleared uh, physical therapy with um, normal strength in his legs and appropriate control of the initial pain that he had before surgery, then he could progress his activities um, and get ready for football next year. I'm sure he's really motivated. Uh, he's a great athlete to begin with. We. Um, in Dallas, he's you know obviously our starting quarterback, so we want him to get ready for next season. Uh, he's got all of Dallas pulling for him, and I think that with the resources that he should have available, including like, the best trainers, the great, uh, great motivation, and a great heart, he should be able to fight through this. And I anticipate that he should be ready, assuming all goes well, hopefully he'll be ready to start the season uh, without a problem next year. My name is Ray Bosita. I'm a spine surgeon at the Texas Back Institute.